Number 63. How many milliliters of a soft drink are contained in 12 ounces can? In a 12 ounce can. Pure conversion right here, right? They give you a given, which is 12 ounces, and they want you to find how many milliliters there are. So this is ml. So for the first part, I would try to make a roadmap to try to go from where I'm starting from to where I'm ending. So my roadmap for this question is I'm starting with ounces and I'm trying to get to milliliters. Now, the first thing that I would say to myself is, is there a direct conversion between ounces and mils? Now, this ounce, we're talking about a volume, right? Because we're talking about a soft drink. Soft drink is in liquid form, so we would be talking about a, a volume. So we look in the volume category, and I'm trying to find ounces to milliliters. And I don't really see anything, right? Liters and quarts, L and QT, quarts and liters, feet cubed and liters. So chances are if they give you a question that they don't give you the conversion factors for, you probably have to know some outside uh, conversion factors. So let me tell you what this one is. Now, you have to know that for every one quart QT, there's actually 32 ounces. And I believe, just for a side note, that for every one gallon, there's always four quarts. So I would memorize those two conversions. They're really good to know just off the bat, especially, you know, for like cooking and stuff like that. That's also a good example to know those conversions as well. But just keep these in the back of your mind. All right. So I know that we can't go from ounces to milliliters all in one shot. But I do know that I can go from an ounce to a quart. So that would be kind of like my first step. Now I'm closing in on the gap. Can I go from a quart to a mill in one shot? I try again. I look in the volume category and I say, okay, liters and quarts, quarts and liters, feet cubed and liter. Mm, so I can't really go to one shot. But what do I see here? They're telling me that one liter equals 1.0567 quarts. So that would be the next step because from a liter, you can get to a milliliter because that's now your SI units. So from a quart, I could go to a liter and finally I can then get to the milliliter because I'm using my prefixes, milli. Will you be using that one as the final one? So here's your roadmap. You have to go from ounces to quarts, quarts to liters, and then liters to milliliters. So this one is a three-step process. The arrows will always represent how many steps you actually have to do. Now, since we're in chemistry, we should try to do everything as concise as possible to just save up some time on tests. So I will show you guys the quickest way to do your conversions and how to get them right every single time. Now, before we start, just know that a lot of students have trouble with conversions. And if you want, we're, we have a Glazer's Guide, the fastest way to get an A study guide coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. That way you could get so many problems with conversion factors and all that jazz so you could be a pro at it. But let's just keep going for now. So we have to always start with what we're given. 12.0 ounces and only look at one step at a time. So you don't want ounces, so you have to times by that ratio in which ounces have to go on the bottom. And now we know that we are going to go to quarts. So that's the first step. Now, what are the numbers regarding quarts and ounces? Well, we know that one quart equals 32 ounces. So that's where your numbers are going. You have one quart and 32 ounces. And now ounces cancel out, and the first step is done. Now, you could either get this answer and then start again, but we want to be as concise as possible. So we're just going to keep rolling with it. And you can do that too. So you can make a next conversion. 
times by a ratio. And now this is the unit that you're starting with. You don't want quarts anymore, so that goes on the bottom. And now we're going from quarts to liters. So liters has to go up on the top. This is step number two. And I'll write that out. This one was step number one, so this one is step number two. Now where are we going to find this conversion? This one came from the common conversion factor chart. So that's this guy right here. Now could you have used this one down here? Of course you can. It does not matter. They're equivalent to each other because they both have liters and they both have quarts. So I'm just going to pick the top one. One liter equals 1.0567 quarts. So the one has to go with liter and the 1.0567 has to go with quarts. And the quarts will cancel out. That's the step two. We're almost there, two thirds done. And now we're just gonna keep rolling with it. We times by another ratio. And now we talk with this one. We have liters, so now liters go on the bottom. And we want mills, liters to mills. So that's up here. Now, there's two different conversions that you should know to liters to milliliters. I'll show you how to use this common unit prefix chart because it's always nice to have, but then I'll show you the conversion that I like to use because it's much more simpler. So if you're using this chart and you're trying to use any prefix on this chart, just know that the prefix will always get the number one. So in this case, you have one milliliter because in this case we're talking about a volume, so it has to be milliliter. But you could use milligram, uh, uh, millimeter, it doesn't matter. So the one gets the prefix. The number that corresponds with it, in this case 10 to the negative third, will be the base unit. So these numbers, the factors, are your bases, which is just the meter, liter, and the gram. So if I just move this a little bit to the left, I could say that one milliliter equals 10 to the negative three liters. That would be your conversion that you use here. So then you would put one mil equals 10 to the negative three liters. Now just know that there's a different conversion for milliliters and liters, which is I think is easier. I just remember that one. Because we do use a lot of milliliters in chemistry, so it's just easier to remember that a thousand milliliters equals one liter. These are equivalent to each other. It's your preference as to pick which one you would think that you could memorize the best. For me, it's the bottom one. So I'm going to put a thousand milliliters equals one liter. Liters cancel. And now we are left with the unit that we want. How many milliliters? Well, here it is. Now we just got to do the math. So when you do the, this math for conversion, the easiest way is to multiply the top. So I'm just going to say, you know, times the top. Then you will times the bottom. And then you will finally divide the two. So you multiply all the tops straight across, then you multiply all the bottoms straight across, then you finally get that one number, plug it in, and solve. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the tops. So it would be 12.0 times 1 times 1 times 1,000. Now technically anything times 1 is the same, so with conversions I like to skip the 1s, so I would just say 12 times 1,000 and I get 12,000 divided by, now we multiply all the bottoms. So the 32 times 1.0567 times 1. Once again, I skip the ones. So 32 times 1.0567, I get um, 33.8144. And now finally, I will divide the two numbers. So 12,000 divided by 33.8144 is this huge number. 
I'm going to cut it off after a couple of sig figs. So it's 5, 4, 354.878. Now we learned about sig figs, so we got to take the sig fig rules in. Now when you're converting, the only sig figs that matter, remember, is what you're given. You never take any of your um, conversion factors as far as significant because, because those are exact numbers. And exact numbers do not matter for significant figures. So it's all about what you started with. Well, what did you start with? You started with 12.0 ounce can. How many sig figs are in 12.0? Well, one and two count, and this counts because it's a trailing zero, and you see a decimal. So there's three sig figs here, which means that this answer has to be in three sig figs. So the three, five, and the four stay. The next number will tell me if I round, and yes, I do, because it's five above, so this four will turn into a five. So it's just 355. Add your unit. Your unit is milliliter. So it would be 355 milliliters. And that's it. So how many milliliters of a soft drink are contained in 12 ounce can? 355 mils. That's it. So awesome job, guys. If you hear that, that's my dog in the background. <laughs> He's a little whiner. He's cute, though. So thank you guys for joining in. I hope this helped a lot. Hope you guys know how to convert. I'll see you all in the next question. Have an awesome day. See you later.